All right, so Cleve, we put this program you put together called Double Your Listings in 120 Days isn't just about how to go double your listings, but it's about everything that an agent or team needs to be able to, uh, to double and how to message to the marketplace. So I wanna, I want, I'd like you to take us through the five critical things that every agent, every team leader, every listing agent needs to know and how to communicate it to the marketplace so that they can ramp up the listing business. And why is it so important to focus on listings? So let's start with the why behind it. So we talked about the purpose and having that purpose, but let's talk about the why. Why listings matter? Why do they matter so much? So to me, they matter because it's the only way we can help the economy recover right this red hot minute. The reality is, is that if you want to last in real estate, you got to list. And there's a section that talks about this, but the reality is, is that when you list, you enlist the support of every single real estate agent in your entire market to get your listing sold. So from a, from a, um, generating consistent income and revenue standpoint, there is no way to make your business more consistent than for you to increase your listing flow. Hey, Verl, let's go, go to the next page real quick. I want to show something. Let's go take a look at uh, Taylor's specific area. Let's find the link that goes to the document. See the sample NAR report? Scroll down to the next page. See, the, see this NAR report right there? Click on that. And it's going to open up a National Association of Realtors document where we can look by state. And so let's go to Massachusetts. Um, I don't know if you, you can spell that. It's M-A-S-S, -S, uh, Verl, A-C-A. There it is right there. So uh, Massachusetts. And so when we click on this, it's going to tell us what the economic activity in the state of Massachusetts is generated every time somebody sells a property. And it's $128,808. That's 35000 of income generated in the real estate industries, $4,650, Deborah, in expenses related to the home purchase, $19,797, which is a multiplier of housing related expenses. So for every dollar somebody spends on housing related expenses, they spend other money in the economy. So you buy a home and you go to Home Depot and you buy a home and you have to have homeowners insurance, you buy a home. So all these different things start to happen. And then from a new construction standpoint, 67,767 is contributed to the economy. So Taylor, I'm telling you that the average throughout the country is 88 to $90,000 in your area is 128,000. So you need to be even more purposeful. And so Cleve, the why behind the competition, just give me some real clarity on what motivates us to do this. Why should we make such a strong effort between now and the end of the year to double our listings? Because the economy is suffering and a lot of the government assistance has run out and we need to help the economy recover. It is the only thing we can do. We can donate to local charities and help people who are in need and we can do all of that. But the only thing we really can do as real estate professionals to change the, the size of the US economy is to get out and list homes. And in my opinion, there has never been a time as long as I've been in the real estate business probably and before when it's been more important for us to get out and add inventory. I think it's, it's sort of red, white, and blue, Beryl. So I, I appreciate that. And I, can't, I, I echo that 120%. And that is that we can be difference makers. And I challenge all of you to make a difference, to get up every day and get up every day with a purpose to make a difference in the people's lives. Our communities and this business has given us so many opportunities and gives us the ability to do so much with our families. It's time for us to give back. And the way that we give back and the way that we stimulate our marketplace is to list more property. So let's get out there and let's make a difference. I'm